Yeah, I'm Jane Bennett. I'm the District Veterinarian for Hunter Local Land Services and I'm based out of Scone. We knew the fires had come across on the Sunday as far as Cassilis and just as part of my normal work, we hadn't been called in as the emergency services yet, um, we came across to Cassilis on the Monday. Um, couldn't go through any further at that stage, the fire grounds were still shut at this end. So collected our gear, organised some other vets to come up on the Tuesday and gained access to the fire ground then. We were going through um, with producers, contacting producers on each of the properties that we were aware of, making sure we assessed livestock, destruction of any livestock that required it, and making sure that producers had access to water, to um, a lot of them needed things like polypipe, what feed they were going to need, all that sort of stuff. If they'd had quite a lot of backup and they had sort of 70 or 80 percent of the place burned and they'd managed to keep all their stock pretty well protected, they were doing it okay. Things were tough but they were doing it okay. Other places where they'd lost a lot more livestock and far more effect across the property, they were doing it pretty tough. They were still in pretty, pretty well shocked. So a lot of them were sort of in the state that they were so overwhelmed with what they had to do, they didn't know where to start, so one foot in front of the other. Once we arrived and could give them a pathway that we need to go and check these stock now and we need to look at destruction on animals that need it, we're going to get, have to get this lot into this area so we can feed them, that started to kick them into gear and they could get moving a lot better. It's one of those things that part of our role is welfare and really we were looking after the welfare of these livestock and making decisions purely on that behalf. So yes, it's not a pleasant job, but it's got to be done appropriately.